Welcome back. ABC is set to air a new dog grooming competition next week, and it's called Pooch Perfect, which will be hosted by Rebel Wilson. And we have our very own Bakersfield native who is actually competing in the show. So joining us this evening, I am so excited to talk about your experience. This is Blake Hernandez. He is on this show. And Blake, thank you so much for being here. I have seen some clips of this show, and it really is such a feel good show, which I think after the last year that we had, we all need this show. Um, it's not not just about the dogs though getting a complete transformation it's also about the contestants and I just want to ask you first what have uh, dogs done for you that take such a special place in your heart and how did you get into this industry well uh, thank you for having me here uh, being a part of Pooh Perfect uh, their first season was such a special experience but uh, to get into how I became a dog groomer uh, we actually dive into in the first episode but uh, I was not living a, a healthy, happy life in San Francisco. I was quite depressed and, and just struggling. And if it weren't for a very special yellow lab, I would have never become a dog groomer. And uh, I can say that grooming has given me a place to express my passion, but uh, also just grow as a, as a business person and entrepreneur too. Yes, absolutely. And let's talk about the show a little bit. There are multiple challenges that you guys actually go through. Uh, and I know we were talking earlier. One of the challenges is called the heart dog challenge, which I had no clue what that meant until you told me. So can you explain a little bit about the heart dog challenge and what we can expect to see on the first episode? Uh, so in the promos with Rebel, you hear her talk about uh, these transformations like um, are a, a beast. You turn an animal into another animal so we had to turn dogs into a different animal or there was um, the heart dog inspired challenge which is where you have a dog that just turns you from a dog liker to a dog lover and you're going to see a lot of creative grooming because we are telling stories and that's how you get to hear a little bit about the groomers behind the scissors and last question here. I thought something that was so interesting. You told me about the accessories and the colors that were used during the show to do these like extreme makeovers. Can you talk a little bit about that? Yeah, so you're going to see a lot of creative stuff, which isn't necessarily your day-to-day uh, -day grooming. It's kind of like when you see New York Fashion Week, like no one wears those outfits out on <laughs> out on the, <laughs> the regular street. We have interpretations of them. And so you're going to see a lot of hints of color throughout the next couple of years, I think, from this show. But the the creativity is vast on Pooch Perfect. And the dyes that you use are actually made specifically for dogs. Um, they're all non-toxic. They don't have a chemical processing uh, uh, time. It is just a fruit or vegetable-based stain, basically. It's like getting jelly on your shirt. Just stain it. <laughs> Love that. So cool. Okay, well, I know you're very busy. You are actually at your shop right now, and I cannot thank you enough so much for coming on today. We love it. And so if you want to catch Blake on Pooch Perfect, make sure that you tune in on 23BC on March 30th. That is when the first episode of the show is set to air at 8 p.m. Now coming up next, we'll take a final look at your forecast when we return.